How do you have any tips how to enter positions quickly with cal without calculating the risk and position with calculating the risk and, but it's super easy. Like what's your risk, okay? Let's say you have a hundred thousand dollar account and you, you risk say let's say you usually risk one uh, percent. So you know your risk is gonna be a thousand bucks, okay? So that's something you should know beforehand, right? That's something you know. Okay, my risk is a thousand bucks. You should always know how big your account is, right? And then let's say, um, let's say you bought, let's say, um, let, let's say, let's do my XOP trade, okay? Let's say you bought the breakout on XOP, right? Like I did. Uh, let's see, what's my average? I did chase it a little bit maybe. So 60.59 is my average. Ideally, I would have bought it on a one minute breakout. Okay, let's say you bought it on a one minute breakout, okay? Or let's say you bought it where I bought it, okay? I missed the first minute. I did chase it a bit, but that's fine. Uh, so let's say your average is 60. Let's say you, you know, see it starts breaking this range. It's on your watch list. You know, it's a good setup. So your risk is, and the lows of the day is what, 59.70, 59.70, and your entry is 60.70, or 60.59, whatever, so you know you're, you're going to have a dollar stop, okay, dollar stop, and you know your risk, your max risk is a thousand bucks, so how many shares should you do? A thousand shares, right? So a thousand shares, well, but, but the problem is, like you, we also have another rule, you should never put more than 20-30% of your account in any given stock or ETF. So if you buy a thousand shares of this thing, you're going to have a $60,000 position, which is 60% of your overall account size, which is too much. You can't do it. You have to, you can't buy more than 500 shares. Right, that would be about uh, thirty percent of your account. So that's gonna determine your max size, and you know it's not hard to do it in your head, guys. It's not hard. It takes ten seconds to do the math in your head. You do know what 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 your dollar risk is, what your max dollar risk is. You do know what your max position size is. You just adjust the amount of shares. It doesn't take more than 10 seconds to do it. It's not, you don't need any of these stupid position size calculators. It's just simple, basic, like seventh grade math. It's not even seventh grade math, it's like fifth grade math. It's not even fifth grade math, it's like third grade math. It, it's not that complicated. And I mean, we could very easily hold, go back into range, go sideways and then break out later um, in the markets. It's just the lack of setups and the failure of breakouts. That that's what worries me. The indices look fine, but it's just. But they've been you know fine for two weeks, while many of the momentum stocks are down between 30 and 60 percent. So the indices don't really tell the whole story. You gotta go by the stock by stock basis, sector by sector basis. <clears throat> Nog. Really beautiful setup. MRO, beautiful setup. Uh, and there are more, there are, there are many. Uh, XOP, the ETF, beautiful setup. I took a loss on it yesterday, it failed the breakout, but it's an even better setup now. Gush, which is a triple ETF, also looks really good. Uh, but that's really pretty much the only sector where, I, where I'm seeing setups. So, you know, that's never really a good thing when you only have one sector that looks good. That's generally not a great thing. Yeah, Tan is, look at how nice it's surfing the 10, 10 day. I sold it, I'm happy to tell you guys, I sold Tan, when was it? Like 25% ago or so? I love it. Uh, ARK, yes, yes, yes. ARKK and ARKG could both be long candidates. Um, I'm short ARKG right now, but it's still building higher lows uh, and it's not breaking down. So, you know, if it stops me out, it stops me out and I may even go long, like I said yesterday. I have no... Uh, 
You know, I, I follow price action. That's how I made 870% last year. You can have opinions, but they need to be loosely held. If, the, if price is disproving your opinion, you follow price, not your opinion. That's the key. Problem is, most people do the other way around. And that's not a recipe for success as a trader. Fubo, yeah, yeah, I, I'm not in it, I'm not in it. When my opinion, yeah, NIO, yeah, that was like a year ago because they were about to go bankrupt. That's the thing, they were. But then they got, I think they were like bailed out by the Chinese government or something, weren't they? They got a loan or an investment. That changed the thesis. But there's a reason the stock went from, you know, 40, almost 14 bucks down to a dollar and 20. You know, any, like, there's a rule of thumb if 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 you know any stock that trades like like a dollar or two dollars or fifty cents in those those stocks are pretty much near bankruptcy every single one of them okay so this stock was about to go bankrupt yes didn't 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 stop me from making money on the long side I'm long it now right that's what happens if you follow price and not your opinions. Oh, FTCH tried to break down below the 20, couldn't, closed above it. Look at these wicks. Look at what happens every time this uh, far fetch touches the 20 day. Look at it. It touches it, went back into the range. Undercut it, went back into the range. Undercut it, back into the range. It, it, you know, the, the, the stock is trying to tell you something. You have to listen. It's trying to tell you something. Your job is to listen. That's all I'm going to say about that stock. We are not in the predictions business. We are in the listening business. Our job is not to predict. Our job is to listen. NOG. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. This is a five star setup. I mean, this is just so beautiful. So beautiful. And NOG too. No, not NOG. MRO. Yeah. MRO, CLNE. Well, CLNE wasn't five star maybe, but it's, a, it's an okay one. It's a very fast mover. Uh, PLG is another one of these platinum names, right? Oh my god, this is a beautiful setup. Yeah, wow. Yep. Well, it's it's all it's already long gone now, but it's you know this thing is too thin for me. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful setup. If you got it opening range size, good job. This is yeah, wow, yeah, amazing setup. Had as a clean move up. It was surfing the 10 day, went sideways, had an orderly pullback, found support on the 20 day. Look at this thing. Every time it tried to get below the 20, look, look at what happened. It pulled these wicks here, here, here. Start built higher lows, then it got tight at this range, and now it's breaking out. This is, oh my god, it's such a beautiful setup. Guys, if you can't identify these things beforehand, you have some work to do. You need to be, like this thing, opening range highs. That was the entry. Do not chase it here. That's a beautiful one. 